Bewitched, bewitched, you got me in your spell. Elizabeth Montgomery was born in Hollywood, California, and her father was famous actor Robert Montgomery. One of his most popular films was Here Comes Mr. Jordan. His daughter Elizabeth got her start in television in his show, Robert Montgomery Presents. In 1955, Elizabeth Montgomery made her film debut in Otto Preminger's The Court Martial of Billy Mitchell, starring Gary Cooper and Jack Lord. In 1956, she made her Broadway debut in the play Late Love. Ooh, va va voom, right? Elizabeth Montgomery made multiple television appearances, and some of those, to name just a few, would be The Twilight Zone, Wagon Train, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and The Untouchables. Yep, you may have noticed that that is David White, who would later play Larry Tate in Bewitched with Elizabeth Montgomery. 1963, she made two films. One was called Johnny Cool, and that was directed by her soon-to-be third husband, William Asher. She had two very quick marriages. One was to the actor, Gig Young. And the other film she made that year was called Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed? That was with Carol Burnett and Dean Martin. In 1964, her and her husband produced the very popular sitcom, Bewitched. <laughs> um, it was about a witch who marries a mortal, Darren, played by Dick York, and her mother-in-law was amazingly played by Agnes Moorhead. Fun fact, halfway through the series, Dick York, due to illness, was replaced by Dick Sargent as Darren. The show got renewed after its eighth season, even though the ratings were faltering, but due to the breakup of William Asher and Elizabeth Montgomery's marriage, they offered the networks a different show, and they produced The Paul Lynn Show. It only lasted one season. After the sitcom Bewitched, she chose to do some darker roles, and when I was uh, 10, 11, 12 in the late 70s, Late night, I saw the reruns of the TV movie, The Legend of Lizzie Borden, where she played the title role with Katherine Hellman as her sister. Fun fact, after Elizabeth Montgomery passed away, a genealogist found out that Elizabeth Montgomery was a distant relative to Lizzie Borden. <laughs> Creepy. In 1989, she performed with her fourth husband, Robert Foxworth, in the play Love Letters on Broadway. This would be her last Broadway appearance, and it would be her last marriage, as they would be married for the rest of her life. In the mid-90s, Elizabeth Montgomery and her co-star, Dick Sargent, passed away from cancer. But right before this happened, Dick Sargent came out as a gay man, and he was asked to be the Grand Marshal in the Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Parade, and Elizabeth Montgomery rode along beside him. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood. My heart was under lock and key, but somehow it got unhitched. I never thought my heart could be had, but now I'm caught and I'm kind of glad to be. And Elizabeth Gummery. Woo! Thanks. Bewitched. Yeah.